I also have an Tamam oh, olur en az o zaman buna uh, en azından 3 hafta Oh my god wait a second good morning <gülüyor> Yeah people are not okay recently Tamam olur en o zaman buna uh, en azından 3 hafta kaldı Evet, bizim evet, için. Hafta, o zaman evet. Şey Beklerim. Evet, Hı -hı. evet çok güzel. Diki ee, sen gördün ama. My Turkish in the morning. Hayır, hiç bir şey yapmadım. It's the worst. Um, This is not working. Bir tane video yolladılar. Başlayalım. I have Turkish here. My Korean here because I have classes today. In uh, eight hours or something. Tuesday is the worst day ever. It's the most packed day Anladım. of the week. Tamam. Oh my god, wait a second. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nikki. I, I'm studying in the Turkish and Modern Asian Studies faculty. And obviously, I now have my online classes. So I'm starting with Turkish. I'm a third year, but this is a fourth year class. Uh, which is mostly based on speaking and since speaking is an important part of the language, obviously um, I attend this class as well. I'm actually skipping my own class of grammar, I think today. So third years have grammar right now, but I want to fix my speaking. So I'm attending fourth year classes right now. <laughs> Diplomam varsa maaş daha yüksektir. Evet, maaşın hmm. daha yüksek. Hmm. Çünkü uzmanlaşmış olduğun e, kanıtlanıyor. E, kanıtlanıyor. Yani bu bir kanıt. Sertifikan olması senin için bir kanıt. <gülüyor> Anladın Yani illa da uzman, e, üniversitenin, üniversitenin önemi hakkında ne düşünüyorsunuz? Okay, so I have my first break. So I better go get mad mad and started working out because i'm not going to be able to do it later <laughs> ben bir zamanda vejeteryandım <laughs> Bunu... Aa, bravo hadi bakalım deneyimlerini anlat Deneyimlerini anlat. Ne zamandı bu? Aa, sanırım iki yıl sonra, iki yıl önce aa, evet. okulu bittikten sonra. Aa, evet. Vejeteryan olmak çok aa, modern bir fikirdi. Her şey, herkes bu aa, aa, yaşam Daha tarzı... Daha da öyle. Daha da öyle dedi. Hmm, evet. Aa, evet. Her, herkes bu yaşam tarzını yani, takip etti. <gülüyor> Bunun için de ben de aa, bu tarzını aa, takip etmek istedim. Sanırım sadece yaz boyunca ya özür dilerim <gülüyor> sadece yaz boyunca vejeteryandım evet. sonra üniversite başladı ve şirketimden vazgeçtim evet sonra vazgeçtim evet vejeter um... yenlikten ah evet ben aslında et çok uh, yememeliğimizi destekliyorum. Uh, yani haf et, haftada... Et, et, et çok et yememeliğini... <gülüyor> yememiz gerektiğini savunuyorum. Aa, Bir Çok, çok et yememeniz... Yemememiz gerektiğini savunuyorum. Okay, so recently I've noticed that I've been um, developing some sort of stuttering. Uh, not just when speaking a foreign language, but when speaking Greek as well. And you know, at first I didn't pay much attention to it because we can all stutter to words when speaking very fast. Sneeze. When speaking very fast or switching between languages, you can always stutter and that's okay. Um, but it's now that I really, really noticed how my brain is kind of lagging so what i just figured out was that uh my language part is kind of like as if it has doors 
and you know one door for Greek, one door for English, Turkish, etc. And when needed, when my when my brain hears a language, it opens that door to be able to respond to that language in the same language. Um, but now that my teacher asked me something and I had a minute to prepare my answer, and I was like, okay, I want to say this, 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 and that. And as soon as I started speaking, it was like my mind blocked. It was as if my mind couldn't open that door of Turkish in order to be able to respond. You know, and I'm talking about very simple words. And I've also noticed that I don't speak as fast as I used to speak um, when I first started Turkish, which is kind of um, suspicious because you're supposed to be speaking slow when you are starting a language, not when you are on the third year of learning it. Uh, this, this stutter isn't happening in Korean at all, yet. Uh, in Greek I've caught myself doing it, in English not so much, again, a, mm, mediocre kind of thing. Uh, but in Turkish I just noticed it, how my brain had to think a little more before answering, which is something that has never happened to me in Turkish. In Turkish I was always like, this, this and that, you know, it was so simple to me. And now it, this happened. This is really not good. One idea that I have right now on how to fix this is to read out loud. Honestly, these online classes are ruining my motivation. I'm generally a person that will always be like, yeah, let's do this. It's hard. It's okay. Like, you know, bring the pain in and everything. But this thing is just ruining my motivation. I, I don't have any motivation to study for any class right now for university. I'm just like, whatever, I'll, I'll do it the last minute, which is me all the time. I do stuff the last minute, that's me. But this semester is just... And then there's the news and the press that says that the educational system of Greece, especially for universities, is like the best and everyone is so happy with it. Did you ask us? Like seriously, did you ask us? I just don't want to do anything anymore. I'm just like, do whatever you want. You know, me, who I'm a super goal-driven person. I'm like, I want to do this and I'll do everything to achieve it. But right now, university's not helping me. My academic life is falling apart. I really don't want to hide my weaknesses either because it will show that I'm 100% always motivated, you know, 24-7. But I'm not always motivated. And I guess it's okay to not be motivated 24-7 as long as you can get like put yourself together at the right time. Last Tuesday's Korean class was a pain. Like I still can't get over it. It's been a week, a little week since I finished classes. And I just can't get over it. When you put effort on something like you really work hard for it and you stay up until late trying to work for it and perfect it and suddenly you know you're told that you haven't worked enough. Uh, maybe it was out of anger, out of frustration but ouch. <laughs> So during literature, I'll work on Korean to prepare for the class I have at six because I don't want to hear those words ever again. So I did my workout. I feel a lot better. <laughs> I've been doing JK's workout from BTS and kind of combining it with uh, Amy Wong's ab workout. Ab workout or plank workout? Either of the two. And it's been going really well. Like I lost eight centimeters of my waist in a month which is like chill but once i get the desired results i'll make a full video of my experience with the workout but for now i'm basically like this so um it's been going really well if i compare myself and then my 11 line is starting to point out as you can tell right here you know and i at some point i just raised my shirt i don't know why that happened i raised my shirt and i see the v line and i'm like so yeah, this workout is doing magic. If you want me to send it to you, you can message me on Instagram. This workout has actually become part of my lifestyle. So now when I wake up every day, I'm like, workout, you know? I just don't even give it a second thought. I just want to work out. Like, this is how far we've gone. <laughs> yeah, people are not okay recently. Like, I'm starting to realize, yeah.
자다가 운동했네? 별로 안해 그럼 너는 매일 운동하니까 같이 트리고 나가서 운동 좀 하게 만든다, 만들다, 만, you can't say 만들다면서요, obviously. 만든다면서, it sounds correct, in a way. So, uh, believe in your instincts when it comes to languages. <laughs> Let's say it's 만든다면서, it's okay. So, for now, I'm going to be taking a break. We're going grocery shopping with my mom. I've missed this, to be fair. Going grocery shopping, not going out. Um... And then I'll return and do some more Korean, and then I have Korean. We just came back, and I'm so tired. Oh, this is actually very good. Anyways. We got so much stuff because we have a uh, guest coming over on Friday. So food is here. So I'm going to be taking a break for a little bit, like half an hour or something, until I eat. My mom made some, if only I remember what type of meat this is, with potatoes on, in the oven. Την άσκηση το πάνω, το παράδειγμα. Το παράδειγμα. Γιώργο μια σόγουντερ εγγέο, κίνε ναμσόνι εγγυρέο. Ναι, τσότο τρώσαιο. Σαράμε ρουκέα να είναι κοτό, δεν νιώθει νικαίο. Ναι, το κατάλαβε εδώ. Αυτέ τι μέρε είναι γνωστό, είναι τη μόδα, α πούμε, τα κορίτσια να κάνουν τα γόρια να γελάνε. Ε, ναι, και εγώ το άκουσα. Ε, το να μπορείς να κάνεις τους ανθρώπους να γελάνε είναι ικανότητα. Δεν νιώθω. Ναι. Κρόμ, για τσέρο κουατσά να πάνερ μαντερωσό, μόγισεο. Τόνεν, για τσέ τζουσίρερ μαντερωσό, μόγκε εδώ τσουάια. Τάγκεν κέικνα, σίγουμτσι τζουσίνεν, γιόνιαγκα το νόπκο, ορίντε, κάνσικε αζού τσουάιο. Τάλκομεσό, γιόντζεδο. 아, 좋아할 거예요. 자면서도 성장을 해요. 그러니까 마음대로 여기저기 튕글면서 차게 하는 것이 좋아요. 네, 잘했어요. 그리고 네. 에고 카피에 그 댄토 카타라 베테. Our teacher just announced us that on the 19th and 28th or something of May we're taking exams. <웃음> Not that I'm shook that I didn't expect it or something because ever since I got into class, I knew that those exams were coming for me. But now, <clears throat> but now that they're actually here, I'm like, I'm going to embarrass myself. But yeah, anyways, it's nine o'clock right now. In 20 minutes, I have a live on Instagram on my Imagine account. So I should get ready for that. Um, and I also have to film a TikTok. So... <laughs> That's it for today. Thank you so so much for watching and uh, I'll see you on my next video. Good night. 이름. 뭐? 이름. 뭐? 이름이 뭐냐고? 맞아. 뭐가 맞아? 맞다고? 뭐? 왜? 이름. 뭐? 이름. 뭐?